Every autumn, a squirrel hides around 10,000 nuts. They bury them in singles, and their survival throughout the year depends on their ability to find their hoard. This one's a genius. How to prove that squirrels don't rely on their sense of smell to retrieve their stash of nuts. First, you'll need a number of cups. Fill one with nuts, and after he's been just once, turn the cups upside down. I've put black tape around the empty cups, and red tape around this one. This is the one you're looking for. It has about 10 or 15 nuts underneath. This is his second journey. It's amazing how quickly these squirrels learn. This is only his third journey, and he doesn't mess about. So, for the last two days, the squirrels have been coming and eating out of this pot where, where the nuts are. Uh, all the other pots are empty, and they don't seem to bother uh, looking or investigating the other pots. Now, what I want to know is, if I switch the nuts over to, say, this one here, will they be able to smell the nuts under this pot? Let's find out. Half an hour later, and yes, here he comes along the rooftop. Remember, there are no nuts in the red cup. This is the one with the nuts in. What's happening here is evidence that squirrels depend on their spatial memory as opposed to their sense of smell. They bury nuts about five centimetres into the ground, but his nose here is just a couple of centimetres away from a hoard of nuts. They don't retrieve their hidden stash by a sense of smell, they're actually remembering the position of their hoard. He came back seven times before sundown on that same day, and he always went back to the same position, even though there was a cache of nuts just a few centimetres away, but he never found them. I got the same results when I tried this experiment with all red cups, all black cups, and a mixture of red and black. But he always went back to the same position, even though the nuts were just a few centimetres away. This amazing memory feat may have nothing to do with intelligence, though. The key to recovering their hoard could be a simple ability to retrace their steps, like a tourist finding their way back to a hotel. On the other hand, squirrels might be highly intelligent, with an innate ability to map three-dimensional routes into their territory. In this case, each nut would have a place on the map in relation to notable landmarks like trees, bushes, rooftops, and the squirrel would be able to retrieve the nut by any number of routes. Try the experiment at home, and I'm sure you'll get the same results.